Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. In this video, I'm going to spotlight a mod that arguably is one of, if not the best for Rome 2 Total War. A mod that I personally have hundreds of hours playing, dozens of videos showcasing faction guides, new updates, etc. And a mod that sits at the top of my list as being my favorite. Divide and Impera takes the rough Rome 2 and turns it into a true gem of a Total War game that adds over 4,000 new units, loads of new complex campaign mechanics, historical accuracy, and best of all, campaign and battle rebalancing to make them slower paced and challenging. From the new units to the completely redone factions to the immersive battle experience, there's a lot to appreciate in DEI, and there's certainly a lot of reasons to give it a try at least. And I guarantee that by the end of this video, you will have no choice but to go try out DEI for yourself. So let's get started. Divide and Impera really needs no introduction. A mod that's been in development since the game launched back in 2013, that's nine years, guys. DEI is an overhaul that changes almost everything about Rome 2 and adds thousands of new things that make the game historically more accurate, challenging, and immersive. DEI essentially took Rome 2 and turned it into something that can be replayed again and again. For me, it's the shining beacon of what Total War mods are capable of because because it has done such a good job of turning Rome 2 into something with immense depth and meaning, with so much more content and enhancement that we're still getting today. First and foremost, the biggest additions to Rome 2 with DEI are the campaign gameplay mechanics. Seasonal effects mean that wherever you are on the map, there's a certain chance of going through favorable, mild, or harsh weather conditions. So it's always something you need to keep an eye on. Armies can suffer attrition seemingly out of the blue. Public order could suddenly get a big boost, etc. Weather has a big role to play in DEI. Population is also very important for your campaign success. The systems differ between various factions, with some factions able to access populations of different cultures, like Massalia or Scythia. You have to really be able to balance which populations to get growth going for from a regional income point of view and from a recruitment point of view, so a very intricate system here. And finally, of course, you've got the most complex supply system I've ever seen in a Total War mod. In DEI, you absolutely need to supply your armies and navies, and there are various buildings that contribute to this, increasing your reserve pool, creating supply lines between different provinces, and providing you with supply units like baggage trains. Armies can forage for supply as well, so if an enemy army comes into your territory, you may find your supply start dwindling. All of these things and more make the supply mechanics super important and highly challenging to maintain. We've also got unique cultures across a wide range of factions, some of which can again access two different types of cultures depending on your preferred unit roster and playstyle. There's a brilliant AOR system that, especially for factions like Rome, lets you recruit regional Roman units. We've got unique reforms for many of the factions leading to higher tier units, and we've got new resources scattered across the world for you to develop and trade. I also have to say that the AI is actually challenging in DEI. Obviously, if you play enough, you'll know certain ways and tricks of beating the AI quickly, no matter the circumstances. But if you're playing the mod for the first time, you are really going to struggle, even on normal difficulty. Rome is the perfect example of this. With a two-front war with Etruria in the north and Epirus to your east, a scripted Punic war on the horizon with Carthage the moment you step foot on Sicily, and an AI that will take full advantage of all of this. I had to restart my Rome campaign with DEI three times before figuring out a way to beat my initial enemies and start growing. And you know what? DEI was the first time playing Rome 2 that I actually needed naval superiority. The Carthage AI when the Punic War begins is actually smart enough to start using armies and navies to proactively land on your shores, challenging your dominance of the Italian peninsula. It's actually an amazing thing to see. All of this together makes the DEI campaign one of the best I've ever played. It's immersive, it's historically accurate, it's replayable, and everything from the major systems to the minor things like unique wonders or the new character trait systems, everything here is tailored and polished to make you feel like you're playing a proper, complete Rome 2 Total War. 
And then we have the battles, guys. Everything here has been rebalanced to make battles more realistic, tactical, challenging, and ultimately slower. Now, that being said, you're not going to play a half an hour battle, but instead of playing seven minute battles, you'll probably play 15 minutes. So it does make a big difference. And the challenge is real. The AI really has seen some enhancements. They do keep reserves more often than not, though I wouldn't count on fortified armies being all that immersive, so you can write that one off straight away. Siege battles are super fun to play and the AI's use of cavalry can at times be deadly so you always need to keep watch for that there are of course over 4,000 new units guys which means you really need to know what your enemy is fielding and what units you need to counter them effectively army composition is so important and it should be your biggest concern because the AI will make full use of what's available to it. And of course we've got the new units and unit visuals. Across every one of the 45 playable factions we've got new and reskinned units that are unique and just amazing to look at. From the Roman legionaries to the Spartan hoplites to the Galatian thorax swordsmen or the Seleucid elephants, we're talking about thousands of units that have been developed, redone and added added to for the last nine years. I'm only showing you a small snippet here, but every unit does something different. Every unit is as historically accurate as possible, and every unit is worth getting a closer look at to appreciate. Finally, guys, it's worth noting that DEI is about to get a major update. The Winter Update, or DEI version 1.3, will be overhauling the Barbarian, Celtic, and Caledonian factions first and foremost, so you can expect much more fleshed out unit rosters for the factions like the Nervii, the Galatians, or the Arverni. Thrace is also getting a big overhaul, and it will also see the revised Grand Campaign submod get integrated into the main mod. This new Grand Campaign adds new unique one Wonders, expands building slots for settlements, expands modability, and a lot more as well. So a big update is coming, guys. Overall, I think you'll agree DEI is one of the best mods ever made for a Total War game, hands down. From the historical accuracy of unit armor and weapons, the visuals, to the intricate population and supply systems, to the challenging AI, everything here makes Rome 2 just plain better and more interesting to play. And the fact that nine years into development, it's still going, it's still active, is just an amazing thing. Hopefully we'll hear more about the new update very soon. If I have convinced you here today to give DEI a try, then make sure to watch my guide videos that range from a beginner's look at the mod, faction specific guides if you're playing a certain faction and need help. You can also go on the official DEI website to find out more about all the different mechanics, the factions, etc. Links to the mod and the website are in the video description below, but also join the mods discord server for regular updates, multiplayer battles and campaigns, or if you want to feed back to the mod team, I'm sure they would really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.